las mujeres. So we're gonna switch back to English because we have a uh, Wei Lin. She is the vice president of marketing intelligence for Kelly Blue Book. How are you, Wei? I'm doing great, thank you, Javier. How are you? Excellent. Thank you. Thank you for taking the time. I know you were very busy preparing, uh, presenting this uh, new study from Kelly Blue Book about how uh, the challenges that some uh, women. Uh, confront when they go and buy a new car, right? That's uh, something that very recently was done by Kelly Blue Book. That is correct, yes. We're finding that women actually are taking longer to shop for cars than men are. But long, lo yeah, longer in, in what terms? In like making the decision or longer at the actual process of buying the car? The whole process. So men are taking um, the median number of days is 63 days and women are taking 75 days. So it's an additional 12 days. Yeah. And uh, what, what are the factors that, that cause this? Well, you know, so here's what's really funny. So um, men tell us that they're very confident when shopping for a car. In fact, um, 59% of men say they're very confident when shopping for a car. Now, only 38% of women feel confident shopping for a car. They actually feel pretty intimidated by the whole process. And, uh, and also tell us... Yeah, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Well, men also tell us that they're knowledgeable. Two-thirds of men say they're knowledgeable. Women say they're not knowledgeable. So what happens is because men uh, feel much more knowledgeable and women don't, women try to make up for it by doing more research. Oh, okay. And uh, I, I recently read a study that even though there's like so much uh, information available on the internet, especially like sites like Kelly Blue Book, it, at some point it can be overwhelming because I think in this study in particular that I read about, it, it mentioned that there were like people were visiting like 18 different sites uh, before making a decision, which uh, might sound like a good idea, but then after all, it's like too much information to digest, no? Yes, that is a lot of information, but, you know, women actually do have a clear idea of how to approach the shopping process. They don't, what men are telling us is they have a clear idea. They know what car, which car they're going to buy, they know what brand. Women say, you know, they don't really know which brand, but what they do know is they know which benefits they want or which features they want. So, for example, they're thinking, you know, I need a third row seat or I need enough space to put my car seats in there or, you know, um, the family pet needs to be able to fit into the car. So they know exactly which features and benefits they need. Yeah, and more than like brands or particular models. It's very interesting that you mentioned that because in our next, next segment, I want to talk to a friend of mine from New York who just bought her new car the first time ever uh, in her life. And uh, uh -huh. the, the, the deciding factor was that his, uh, her teenage uh, son has been growing a lot in the past couple of years. And the only uh -huh. factor important for her is that he fits in the back seat. <laughs> so it doesn't yeah. matter the brand or anything else. That's exactly how women look at it. Yeah. So, you know, the other thing that we found is men view their cars as an extension of themselves. It's like an image thing, right? So the car reflects their image, their accomplishments in life. But women, and not so much, they don't really care so much about things like that. What they do care about is how they're going to get from point A to point B. Yeah. So their car is really for uh, utilitarian or practical purposes. And also, I mean, even that this particular study says that more, the women take more time to do the whole process, uh, that's because uh, women actually make the final decision in most households, right? Well, that's really funny that you say that. So we asked men, we said, okay, well, actually what we did was we asked a question of both men and women, especially married ones. Yeah. And we said, okay, are you going to be the primary decision maker, right? And men said, oh, yes. Two thirds <laughs> of them said, I am going to be the primary decision maker. And women said, oh, no, no, I'm going to talk to other people and I'll share that decision. So it, it was really funny. I started talking to a lot of different couples to find out, well, how do you shop for a car, right? Yeah. Lots of interesting research. And one man in particular, he told me, he goes, oh, yes, I am the decision maker in the family. In fact, the last time I bought a car, I went in, I did the research, I went to test drive. I had all the paperwork in front of me ready to sign. And I thought, oh, I better call my wife. And he <laughs> called his wife. And his wife said, no, you are not buying that car. End of discussion. So he said, well, you can tell I was clearly the main decision maker in this. <laughs> so it's 
it's really funny. I think men tend to think that, yes, they are the primary decision maker. I think women are just more honest. And yeah. they say, yes, I, I'll talk to other people. Exactly. So it's like the, the old joke, right? Like, man has the last word, and he usually said, whatever you say, honey. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. So that, that was a really interesting story. And I think it pretty well illustrates how men and women approach it. Because one of the things that we do see, women um, actually talk to a lot of other people. They go, for example, on KDB.com, one of the things that they do is they go and look at ratings and reviews. Yeah. Because they want to see what other people think about those cars and what they think about the ownership of those cars. And they go and talk to um, their friends and social media and they get their opinions and they ask for recommendations. So that's how women shop for cars in general. And I think a lot of women can relate to that to other parts of their lives as well. Yeah. Like going out to eat, you know, let's go and yelp it or something. Yeah, you're mentioning uh, the, the reviews that are posted by users on Kelly Blue Book. Uh, have you seen a different uh, approach in, in, in that from female buyers than from uh, male buyers? You know, we have not been able to slice it. We, we don't actually ask the reviewers if they're male or female. Um, so we haven't been able to see it that way. But I'd be willing to guess because men are more image-oriented exactly. and women are, are more practical. We could probably take a reasonable guess. Yeah. No, I was saying, like, for example, if uh, you'll see, like, by name. I mean, it doesn't have to be that scientific. If you, like, Mike, it's uh, posting a review on the new... Uh, Mazda Miata, and then like uh, Mary is posting this, uh, a review on the same car. If you see very different opinions on the actual car, that's what I was talking about. Oh, yes. So, you know, here's the other thing. So, when we were looking to see what's important to men and women, we saw that, well, first of all, there are some things, of course, that are going to be similar. That's, that's just the way it is, right? Um, yeah. However, that's, of course, not as interesting as the differences. So, but to give an idea of what's important to both men and women, it's things like durability and reliability or, or safety, right? But for women, the practical things are much more important. So durability, reliability, one of the ones that came up as being very important to women is driving performance. Which, you know, when I first looked at that, I thought, uh, I thought driving performance would be more important to men. But when we asked women what they thought driving performance meant, they said, well, it means reliability. Yeah, And men okay. said, right, and driving performance to men was prestige. Yeah. And so because of that, men and women do review cars differently because we asked men, well, which cars are uh, good on driving performance? And they list a lot of luxury brands, yeah. right? But w for women, because they, they're thinking reliability, they list a lot of practical, let's say, Asian imports, which women view as being much more reliable. So that's what driving performance means to women. It's the same uh, set of words. Yeah. But it means very different things to men versus women. Yeah. So at the end, um, I mean... There's no right or wrong here, I don't think, right? I mean, because if women are taking more time and doing their homework, I, there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, uh, what, Not what? Not at all. Exactly. I mean, like, you, you will probably check more information and, like, get... If you are doing that and doing it correctly, you're getting better information and the end result making a better decision. Possibly. So, you know, someone asked me, well, by the time you get into the dealer showroom, does it mean that women are still intimidated? And my take on this is no. Women, they've done the research leading up to that point. So when they go in to make a transaction, they feel confident and knowledgeable, right? Equally confident and knowledgeable as men. So it, it's very interesting that, so yes, they do more research on the front end so that on the back end, when they're in the dealership, they feel more comfortable. Okay. We're talking to Wee Lin. She's the Vice President of Market Intelligence from uh, Kelly Blue Book. So we have a couple of more minutes uh, in this segment. Do you have a then a recommendation on how to use these uh, amazing tools uh, uh, for information on Kelly Blue Book for both women and men? Well, I think it's really important for both men and women to realize that they may not be thinking the same things, particularly for couples, you know. Um, they may not necessarily agree. I know that from personal experience. Yeah. So as long as long as both sides can agree on, well, for the man, if it, if it um, achieves their need for, 
you know, showing off their accomplishments. And for women, it achieves their need for practical aspects, um, providing all the features and benefits that they need. I think we'll be in a happy place. Yeah. And is there a, a particular way that you recommend both women and men to research in a particular way within uh, Kelly Blue Book, for example? Well, on Kelly Blue Book, we do provide information that is um, helpful for both men and women. So women, as I mentioned, like to do a lot more research. They check out uh, ratings and reviews. They check out a lot of pricing information. Um, men, what they do is they do research across the board. So not only do they look at pricing and do general research, but they're also looking at the dealerships and which dealership do I go to. And they're checking out um, the images of the cars much more than women do that. So all that information is available on KDB. We try and make it available for both men and women. Excellent. Well, thank you very much uh, for your time. And uh, is there any other... Uh, the, any other uh tip that you can give uh, the general public uh, about uh, how to make the decision for buying a car? Um, well, no, have fun with the whole process. I mean, buying a car is a wonderful thing, so do your research and, and make sure you get the process. Excellent. Well, thank you very much again for your time, and I hope to talk to you soon again. Thank you. Este programa fue una producción de National Latino Broadcasting.